Oh, it's a jam-packed video for you guys today. We're going to go out to the local flea markets. We're going to try and find items that we can flip for a profit on eBay because that's what I do full-time if you're here for the very first time. And then I also want to jump into a local thrift store as well. And I want to show you what items I've picked up there. It's a really big episode, a lot of items. I'll bring you back home and I'll take you through the haul at the end of the video. So stick around for that. Let's jump into the flea market. I'll show you what I'm picking up. How are we, guys? Yeah, not too bad. How much on the Xbox? Um, $70 for the whole set. Yeah. And 50 by itself. 50 by itself. Oh, are you talking just the, um, the console only? Yeah, so just for like the console. Yeah, okay. Yeah, then for the, um, 70 for the whole set. 70 for the set. Sorry, it's just my little brother's and he has a set price on Oh, he's pretty firm. Right? So you reckon he's pretty firm? What do you do, 60? Oh, he'll do 60, I guess. I'll give him 10 out of my own pocket money for this. If you're going to do that, we'll do 70. Are you sure? Yeah, absolutely. That, that's cool. I'll take it. Awesome. Appreciate Thank that. You. Thank you. Thank you. I'll just give you $10 change. Yeah, though. no worries. All good. How much on the on the Nikes? Um, The Nikes, you can have them for $5. $5? All right. Well, how about $5 change? Sounds good. So I really want coins, is that right? That's fine. Yeah, no worries. There we go. Awesome. Thank you so much. Very much appreciated. Thanks, guys. That's all right. How you go, mate? Yeah, not bad. Got some old magazines down here, hey? All comics, man, yeah. All comics. Judge Dredd mainly. All Judge Dredd. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Your old collection, hey? Uh, it's not my collection, but I do collect them. I've got like all the barbarians, uh, predator. Oh, have you? Yeah, I'm a big predator fan. Big predator fan, yeah. Oh, really cool. How much on them? Um, I've just got 20 on the lot. 20 on the lot. Yeah, yeah right. Do you know what year they are at all? Uh, I think they're from the 80s. 80s? Yeah, they go from like, just have a look. Nice day shoot. Oh, they've got a little date on them usually, don't they? Oh, it's uh, 1989. 89, yeah. 1990. And then you got how many? Oh, there's a few more under there. These are just other different magazines. There's like football magazines and hunting. Oh, yeah, yeah. What's, you got basketball. Um, yeah, all right. Well, let's do 20. Would you do 20 including the ones on the bottom? Um, how many you got down there? Sports shooting and hunting. And that. I'm into the basketball and the AFL. Okay, well, this one's a cool one. Okay. Those those yep. Done, mate. Let's yeah. do it. Cool, cool. Yeah. As I was leaving, he caught my attention and said that he had a folder of additional comic books and that's what you're seeing here. So these intrigued me because they were obviously a little bit more protected and I thought they might be worth a few more dollars. Yeah, these are pretty cool too. I don't know, these ones are 25 for the lot. They're different. Um, I think there's like one Batman. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so, and there's a couple of things. Phantom. I don't know it's the Phantom, but I've had a look online, some of them. How do they go online? Yeah, just like it's because there's such a wide variety, there's so much and all that. Yeah. Like you can, um, they, they, you know, some of them are like, you know, 10, 12 dollars, some 20, 25. Yeah, so it's all kind of, yeah, all individualized, hey? Yeah. And they're in pretty good condition too. Yeah, yeah. My, my uncle's just kept them. Kept them for ages. Yeah, they sold Yeah. And the, the whole folder, you got 20 on it? 25. 25, yeah. 25. Yeah. Would you do 20? Uh, I'll do it for 20. I'll do 23. 23, let's do it. Mostly, there's a couple there. Yeah. 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 Ye
Hey. Nah. I think I think I'm gonna do these. I think they're gonna be all right. Oh, you'll be fine with that. It's a better bike than one you just made. Do you reckon? It's got more games and it's the same. Yeah. So it couldn't possibly be worse. One less controller and no sensor bar, though. You don't reckon? Yeah. I'll see if I can get it for sixty. Um, so there was one DVD, there was a DVD there as well, box set, and then I grabbed these additional games out of those boxes. Yes, that's right, there's three boxes. Yep. Yeah. So I said 70. Yep. So, and that comes to 12, so that's two, so we'll make it 80. 80 bucks, let's do it. Okay. Thanks heaps. Alright, not too bad guys. Few items found, um, two Xbox consoles, a few games, a few DVDs, some shoes, and then these Judge Dread. We'll get back home and have a look at those. But for forty-three dollars on something I'm not sure about, that might be a risky purchase. We'll have to see what happens there. Um, but I'm pretty happy with this. I think, given the rain though today, guys, we might go to an op shop and we'll do that. Actually, we'll go and do that now. Um, I'm just not content with what one, two, three, four buys. Uh, even though we've spent over 200 bucks, I, uh, I want to get a few more things. So let's go jump into the op shops and we'll see if we can turn this rainy day into a real winner. Welcome to the thrift, guys. Uh, this was a really good store, actually. A number of items purchased. The first item that I've got here is this Guitar Hero 3 uh, guitar. A couple of games along with it as well. $16 purchase price. It didn't have the dongle. It didn't have the strap, but that's okay. I still think there's some opportunity to make some money on this. So one thing that I always check is, is this right here, just the battery clip, um, just to make sure there's no corrosion in there, uh, which there isn't with this one. This one was in very good condition. So I think this will work fine. Uh, should get about $75 for it. These as well, uh, look, I absolutely love finding these. The Nike Metcons, these are a pair of women's shoes, uh, $15. It was a size US 8. They'll clean up fine. And I think I'll, yeah, I'll push probably $60 to $80 on those. Geez, I'm buying a lot of sketches over the last few weeks and they are selling for me. So I'm just going to continue to purchase $14 of a purchase price here. I bought them due to the fact the condition was so good. Uh, should be able to move that into about $50, I would say. Uh, the Goga Max uh, sole there was a real positive for me. Um, also jumped into the hat section, always paying attention to the hats. And this Gold Coast Airport Marathon hat, ASICS branded, I think I should be able to get some money here as well. So $2, easy purchase price, should make about $30. Awesome haul today, guys. Back at the house now. Let's jump over to the table. I want to break down how much I think I can get for what we've been able to pick up today. So out of the first Xbox console bundle that I paid $70 for, um, I've just split out the games. First of all, there's two very genuine controllers. There's a sensor bar as well. All the correct uh, cables. This is a slim console, which is going to sell for some good money uh, as a bundle. But I've had a look at the games as I always do. These ones here are just your generic, um, pretty cheap sort of $10 games. These ones all go for 25 to 20. So we're talking probably my money back on just those three games there. So there's about $60 in value. And then I'll do a bundle like that. And that should probably go for about $150. So take out fees and postage, get my money back there. And that might make me about $100 all up. So that was a really good one. This was the second bundle as well. So we had uh, $80 that I spent on a few things here. These are actually a couple of aftermarket controllers. You'll see here 
Um, you've got rock candy there. So they're not genuine, but they will still sell and they will still work. Um, there was a heap of games with this one though, which was a real advantage for $80. I even had these games thrown in. Uh, and then I got a DVD and, well, two DVDs as well in there. So not a bad little grab here for $80. The, the reason being is that these games here I've comped out um, they should all sell for $100, 20 40 60 80 100 um, And then I can sell all of these games with the console. Again, another Xbox 360 Slim. Um, again, I think I can get about 175 considering there's a few more games. Um, so money back uh, on this, and then 175 take fees and post. I might make about $200 off these two Xbox 360 console bundles. So a ripping grab there. Uh, we did really well in the op shop as well. Uh, two pairs of shoes. These Metcons, absolutely love finding those. So they should go into about $80, I would say. Should get about 50 for those. The hat was a good pickup for two bucks. This here as well, obviously didn't have the dongle as I would have touched on in the voiceover, um, but I still should be able to get about 75. So that was a really good grab there. So all in all, guys, it was a really good run. And I think there's going to be about $400 worth of profit after fees. But remember, that wasn't the entire haul. We had these Judge Dredd comic books as well. Now, I've had a, a bit of a look into these and I've spoken to a few people. They are in pretty decent condition. And I think as a bundle, I'm gonna be able to sell them for about $120. So that was a really cool find. I did pay $43 in the end. Uh, getting all of them as a, as a collective, but 120 bucks off a 43 spend, I think I'll take that at the end of the day. So that was a good little win there as well. I think that brings us up to a total now of an estimation of about $450. Remember, I do need to go ahead and obviously list them up and sell them to get that $450. So there is still a bit of work left ahead, but it just gives you a bit of an idea about the opportunities in going out to your local flea markets and thrift stores, just like I have here on a Sunday morning. That was a lot of fun and it only took a couple of hours to do. So this year, I do want to mention that I am going to be focusing quite heavily on video games and video game consoles. I think it's an area that I've, I've a little bit kind of neglected, I think, in the past. I think there's a lot more money to be made in that category on eBay. So that's going to be a lot of my content this year is going to be actually more so around video games. So if you're into that kind of thing, remember to hit the subscribe button because I put out three videos every single week and I don't miss. I'm always pretty consistent with my uploads. So give the video a like if you got anything out of it today. Hit the subscribe button and uh, I'll catch you on Tuesday for a what sold video to show you some of this stuff that goes on to sell. We'll see you soon.